Have you ever thought about how important it is to respect all creatures, no matter how big or small they might be? There once was an elephant, a creature of grand stature and commendable strength. But instead of using his size for good, he reveled in his might, often at the expense of those much smaller than him. This elephant, you see, had a boastful nature, a pride that bubbled over into arrogance. He would strut around the savanna, his tusks glinting in the sunlight, his trumpeting laughter echoing through the plains. His favourite pastime was to saunter over to the anthill near his home, his large footfalls causing the earth to tremble beneath him. With a mischievous glint in his eyes, he would spray the ants with water from his trunk, watching as they scattered in disarray. He'd threatened to crush them, his words carrying a chill of terror that would send shivers down their tiny spines. The elephant took great pleasure in tormenting the ants, viewing them as insignificant due to their small size. Scene script. However, one day, the ants decided they had had enough of the elephant's behaviour. Whispered discussions filled the anthill, a hubbub of tiny voices, each one chirping with determination. The ants, those minuscule creatures who had been bullied for far too long, had decided to take a stand. They were tired, oh so tired, of the elephant's constant harassment. They knew they had to teach the gigantic bully a lesson he would never forget. And so, they made a plan. A plan so daring, so audacious, it could only have been hatched by creatures pushed to their limits. They decided to journey straight into the belly of the beast, or more accurately, into the trunk of the tormentor. Imagine, if you will, a brave battalion of ants marching towards the elephant, their tiny hearts beating with courage. They climbed up the towering legs of the elephant, traversed the wrinkled landscape of his body, and finally reached the cavernous entrance to his trunk. One by one, they ventured into the dark abyss, their resolve unwavering. Once inside, they began their mission. They bit the elephant, their tiny jaws delivering sharp pinpricks of pain. From the outside, it was a sight to behold. The elephant, who had always been the perpetrator of fear, was now on the receiving end. He trumpeted loudly, his usual hearty laugh replaced by a cry of surprise and pain. The massive, domineering elephant was being reduced to a whimpering mess by the very creatures he had belittled and tormented. His eyes bulged, his body shook, and his once booming voice was now filled with agony. The tables had indeed turned. The ants, once the victims, had become the victors. Their size, which the elephant had so cruelly mocked, had proven to be their greatest strength. They had shown that even the smallest creatures could fight back when pushed to the edge. The elephant, who once laughed and threatened, could now only howl in agony. It was only then that the elephant realised his mistake. A wave of regret washed over him, as the sting of the ant's bites echoed the pain he had inflicted on the smaller animals. The once proud elephant, towering over the tiny ants, now felt small and insignificant. He realised that he had used his size and strength to intimidate, not to protect or help. His laughter, which once echoed through the jungle, was replaced by a quiet hum of sorrow. The elephant, feeling the weight of his actions, decided to make amends. He approached the anthill, not with the intention to terrorise, but to apologise. I am sorry, he said, his voice resonating with genuine remorse. I was wrong to use my size to bully you. I now understand the pain I have caused. The ants listened, surprised but appreciative of the elephant's newfound humility. His apology didn't stop at the anthill. He went on to apologise to all the animals he had bullied. The elephant, once feared and avoided, was now a symbol of change and remorse. His actions served as a reminder that everyone deserves respect, regardless of their size or strength. As time passed, the elephant's behaviour towards the smaller animals changed dramatically. He became protective, caring and understanding. He used his strength to help others instead of intimidating them. His size, once a weapon of fear, became a shield of protection. The elephant had truly learned his lesson. He learned that respect is not measured by size, but by actions. That strength is not about dominance, but about kindness and protection. Most importantly, he learned that everyone has their own unique strengths and capabilities. The elephant, once a bully, had learned a valuable lesson about respect and kindness towards all, regardless of their size. And so, the story of the elephant and the ants serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of treating all creatures with respect, kindness and understanding.